Next on the History Channel, the second part of the five-part series exploring the early life of Vice Admiral Horatio Nelson, 1st Viscount Nelson, 1st Duke of Bronte, arguably the greatest British national hero, second only perhaps to James Bond. His naval career began when he purported to the third-rate Rosanabo, a soundly dismal excuse for a warship. He would later become the commander of the HMS Carcass and Badger. After these feeble ships, the truly most glorious command of Nelson's young career was when he was appointed as master and commander of the HMS Agamemnon. The fine yellow ship was where he was assigned to blockade the French in the Mediterranean. He continued to learn and refine his skills such as navigation and ship handling, which he pursued with vigour. He also convinced his fellow sailors to start a theatrical group so they could stage comedic musicals in their spare time while at sea. It was called Ye Gay Oldie Timey. A number of small engagements were fought, but to Nelson's dismay, he saw little action. Damn those Frenchy froggy frogs. In the year of our Lord, 1777, Nelson learned of a planned expedition to sail to the East Indies, a much more prestigious post where he would be able to bring amazing wealth back to England. With minimal resistance from foreign forces, the spoils were of a superior quality and plentiful. With a cargo hold full of booty and coin, Nelson then began to prepare for an assault on the French and immediately began moving guns ashore. Nelson was at one of the forward batteries early in the morning, eating a hearty breakfast of meats and sauce, when a shot hit one of the standbags protecting their position. Nelson was struck in his right eye and forced to retire from battle. But facing it with bravery, decorum, and the most stiff of upper lips, the eye was bandaged and he returned to action, gloriously storming the main defensive position and capturing it for the glory of Britain. Even with Nelson's eyesight irreparably damaged, his fleet was strong and he secured even more treasure. Lord Nelson, warrior, hero, lover of the Swedish foods, friend of the people, truly the greatest man of his time. He would later lose his arm in a tragic herring accident. <laughs>